Greg and I are standing less than a half a mile away from where NHRA's first race was conducted way back in 1953. We're less than a couple hundred feet away from the NHRA Motorsports Museum, where dozens of the most iconic cars in the sport's history are housed. But it's this one sitting outside collecting dust, a 1953 Viking trailer that might be one of the most important to our history, Greg. That's true. Uh, 1954, Wally Parks got the idea to send a group of officials across country to introduce drag racing to people that had never seen it before. It was Bud Evans, Chick Cannon, Bud Coons, and Eric Rickman They're in this very trailer, and they hauled everything they needed but the pavement itself necessary to put on a drag race. And Bud Coons had been a Pomona police sergeant, so he was able to meet with the uh, local city fathers and the chiefs of police and convince them that drag racers weren't there to pillage their town, that it was going to be a positive experience, and they did this for three years, 54, 5, and 6. And in 55, it culminated with the first Nationals in Great Bend, Correct. but they weren't done there. They were taking the NHRA message to a lot of uh, municipalities and showing the car clubs how they could set up their own successful drag meets. Exactly. The other part was Eric Rickman, who was on the safari, was the photo editor of Hot Rod Magazine. He photographed the event, would send the results and the photos back to Wally Parks at Hot Rod, and stories would be published in a subsequent issue of Hot Rod thus spreading the popularity of NHRA drag racing. And Wally had this trailer custom built. Right. A fellow named Doug Carruthers had been a longtime Lakes racer. He actually owned the 25 Chrisman car for some time, and he was in the trailer business. And Wally's story was that we gave Doug $300 because that's all we could afford. And arguably our sport owes an enormous debt of gratitude to this unassuming 1953 Viking trailer. It started out as the drag safari, the name eventually changed to the safety safari, but what those four men did, pioneering and blazing a trail for future generations of drag racers, certainly set the tone for the sport as we enjoy it today. And you can come enjoy the sights right here out front of the NHRA Motorsports Museum.